America was kind of, you know, a huge adventure compared to everywhere else. I wrote the record for the most part uh, in London, Los Angeles, and then some uh, in Nashville and New York. And um, I think I'm really a visually stimulated person, you know, and um, and motivated by change and travel and all of that. And so that's probably when I do my best writing is when things are changing and I'm moving around. dad was uh he was a gypsy so yeah <laughs> so he moved around a lot and I think that that just kind of led us to you know living in a bunch of different countries and um, my mom worked in hotels so it was easy um, she's a photographer she's an artist as well so it was easy to kind of move around Let all the fading stars remind us of where we are I know they may seem far I think it causes you to grow up a little bit faster um, and, you know, learn how to deal with different situations quickly and adapt really quickly when you move around that much. Um, in general, I mean, it probably fed into what I do now, but it also prepared me for what I do now. Sometimes you just want to sleep in your own bed and, uh, you know, hang out in your own house and cuddle with your c cats, <laughs> which, uh, you know, you don't get to do when you travel a lot. Um, those to me are the biggest downsides, is just missing being in my own home. I had an apartment in New York that I lived in for five years. And uh, it was the first time I really like painted all of my walls and, you know, bought furniture and all that stuff. And uh, that was a really good feeling. Before that, I was living on like futons or like, you know, sort of and makeshift situations, um, I think when you finally like create your own space, you get to know yourself a lot better as well. Oh.